Hi friends. Why should Jews read the New Testament and Christians read the Old Testament? Well, let's start with Jewish people first. Jewish people, you should read the New Testament because the whole Old Testament, the Tanakh, is constantly referring to the Messiah who will come. And you should read Isaiah 53. This, if you haven't, uh, if you don't know this, is supposed to be the chapter that rabbis will never talk about. Rabbis will try to keep it a secret and will say, no, no, we don't read that. So I encourage you to read Isaiah 53. Find out why they're trying to keep that secret from you. What could you possibly be afraid of? But read the New Testament because the New Testament is a very Jewish book. Now, Christian people will say, oh, no, it's not. But all of the people in the New Testament are Jewish. Uh, their traditions are Jewish. They talk about so many things that are Jewish. The Apostle Paul uh, even says in Romans 1.6 that salvation is to the Jew first, then to the Greek. And there's so many things that you're going to find in the New Testament, uh, if you are a Jewish person, that I think will be very interesting to you. Now, you probably have some uh, stereotypes that what you imagine are there because what you see of modern Christianity. Well, I'll tell you, there's no Christmas in the New Testament. There's no Easter. There's no Halloween. There's none of the pagan traditions that were adopted by ancient Rome and ancient pagan religions that were mixed into Christianity. None of that is in the New Testament. Read it for yourself and you'll see, you'll be surprised at how much Jewishness, if that's a word, is there. Uh, I encourage you to take a look at that. Now, Christians, if you haven't read the Old Testament, the Tanakh, uh, many, many times, you're making a big mistake. How could you not read the Old Testament when constantly Jesus, Yeshua, the apostles, they were constantly referring all the scriptures that they were saying and they were constantly quoting scripture was from the Old Testament. There was no New Testament yet. And, you know, it says in 2 Timothy 3.16, let's take a look at this scripture. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So, all scripture. When, when Paul wrote that to Timothy, what scripture existed? The Tanakh, all what we call the Old Testament. That's what he was talking about. If you don't, how could you, for example, like what sense does it make if I told you, uh, here I have this great book, the greatest book of all time. Start reading on page 934. That's when the New Testament starts in my Bible, on page 934. Would that make sense to you to start reading there and you're going to understand what this book is about? You haven't read this whole beginning part of it? It's one book. Is it not the Word of God? Is it not the Word of God? It absolutely is. How could you possibly understand those last pages without under having read the first one? Especially when all the people in those last pages were constantly quoting the scripture from the first part of the book. So I encourage you to read the Old Testament if you're a Christian. Um, and not once, not twice. Read it so many times that you know it as well as Paul and Peter and Yeshua and James and all of those brothers and sisters back then knew the word. That's how well we should know it and understand. And then the things in the New Testament will start to make sense to you. And for our Jewish brothers and sisters, this from the, the same thing, from all of the things that you've learned from the Tanakh, I'm curious to know what, how the message in the New Testament now seems to you to look for it, you'll see that Jewishness. You'll see that they give the whole lineage uh, from going down from, from Adam and then through the line of David to Mary and Joseph and to, uh, to Yeshua, to Jesus. I, I'd be curious to know um, what 
all of your point of view is on that, please leave your comment and let us know how you feel about this topic. Um, if you think it is necessary to for a Christian to understand and to know the Old Testament and vice versa, if any Jewish people out there are watching this, if they have ever read the New Testament and what parts of it um, do they really feel an affinity for or what parts do they just not maybe not like at all. I'd be curious to know your opinion. Um, either way, God bless.